like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Right guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. We're back for day number six of my extreme weight cut transformation. We're trying to do 20 pounds in six days. We're actually coming up to the 120 hour mark, which is gonna mean five complete days. I'm pretty sure Jorge Masvidal did the same thing in six. I'm gonna do it in five. What's going on guys? Welcome back. To day number six of my extreme weight cut, trying to imitate Jorge Masvidal, the baddest motherfucker in the UFC currently, uh, the, the title holder of the BMF belt. Um, Jorge Masvidal cut 20 pounds, apparently, from 190 to 170 to face Kamara Usman for the title fight, five rounds of UFC uh, welterweight action um, at UFC 251. He, uh, he performed okay, um, but has come out um, since the fight and obviously talked about the weight cut, how much it depleted him and how much it uh, you know, affected his, I guess, fitness in the, uh, in the ring or in the octagon, so to speak. So guys, I found myself uh, five days ago now, almost exactly five days ago to the hour, at a whopping for my weight 96.3 kilograms that was unclothed um, the time guys for anyone following along at home is 6 41 a.m it is november the 9th and uh, i'm at the gym i'm fully clothed i've got my shoes on even though my shoes don't weigh much and i'm going to weigh myself now at the start of this like i said i'm going to get my fucking phone out i've done some cardio this morning once i do weigh myself um, I'm going to give myself, depending on what the, the number is, I'm going to give myself another hour and a quarter to 8 o'clock, which is the specific uh, weigh-in time, to get some more weight off, if I want to. But basically, basically, so at 8 a.m. on November the 4th, I came in here and I weighed 96.3 kgs or 212.3 pounds. We've been slowly but surely bringing the weight down through different methods, uh, the most recent of which is a water depletion. So right now I am feeling pretty fucking depleted. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling the most depleted I have this whole entire cut. Um, this morning I got up at five, I've done 90 minutes of steady state cardio, and it is now 6.42 a.m. So for me to have lost, 20 pounds, I'm going to need to weigh, without any clothes on, now keep that in mind, 87.2 kilograms or 192.3 pounds. Now six days would be in another 24 hours or 25 hours, but I'm going to bring it a day shorter. So we're actually going to do 20 pounds in five days, effectively. So I need to jump on the scales and weigh under 87.2 kilograms right now to have made 20 pounds in five days, not six. And I've got clothes on, 87.2 kilograms, let's fucking go. I've got a good feeling about this, guys. A really good one. The way that I'm physically feeling, I should fucking, I should feel confident. We've got clothes and shoes. An hour and a quarter to go to weigh in. And we're at 87.7. Okay, you guys saw that just as well as I did. 87.7, that means that if I was to take off my shoes and my top, which is holding a little bit of moisture right now, I would be underweight. I would be underweight, but we haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet. I'm gonna give myself another hour and a quarter to, to really try and push this thing. I had an idea in my head that if I, if I did make weight first, of course, um, I'm gonna try and push it down to make uh, middle weight. Uh, which is 185 pounds or just under 84 kilograms just under 84 so I think that if I can sweat even though I'm already fucking depleted this is gonna be this is this is probably not a good idea this is the kind of shit that you know UFC fighters would definitely have to do if not even worse but I've got an hour and a quarter to sweat out as much as I can 
I'm going to come back in here, have a shower, strip off, and at 8 a.m. on the dot, we're going to weigh in, and we're going to see exactly how much weight I've lost. So, in the video after this, I will be discussing exactly what I've done, my protocols throughout this whole entire time, as far as training, nutrition, water, sodium, everything. Um, I've got it all written down in my phone, and I really look forward to running through that with you. But for now, it's all about fucking the last wee grind. The last wee grind. You see these guys, you know, all suited up in hot baths, fucking get out of hot baths, put towels on them. They've got their whole t teams around them. You know, you see Khabib with his fucking, with his uh, sweatband on, his headphones in. You know, these, these windbreaker jackets on, on the treadmill, fucking sweating up a storm, just trying to get that weight off in saunas, things like that. I mean, the craziest thing, bro, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I was in this fucking, this, I was in this bathroom last night. I didn't film it, but I came back just to check my weight, check that everything was on, on point, which it was, but I wanted to, to, you know, I guess, sweat out a little bit more, um, get some of that, 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 uh, that sodium flowing. And so I sat in here and created a sauna. I created a steam room the best I could. I fucking thought, you know what? I'm gonna see exactly how hot I can get it in here. So I turned up the shower to full bowl, <laughs> and uh, you know, I had my, I, I literally had my sweatpants on, I had my hoodie on, I had a beanie on, and I had my music going, and I was shadow boxing, okay? Shadow boxing. After having watched the UFC about an hour earlier, in this mirror, with a massive sweat up, you know, feeling like I was fucking rocky. I'm telling you, it was an amazing feeling, and um, it was effective. So, I'm not going to do that this time. I am going to just, honestly, um, just get back on that treadmill and uh, see how we go. So, I'm really not looking forward to it, honestly. I could call it here. I could call it here easily and be done. But imagine if I made it to middleweight. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So, the time is 7.29am on November the 9th. I've now done 15,000 steps. And, uh... Did we do it early? Did we weigh in early? I'm not sure. <laughs> I love to be consist consistent with things. You know, if I'm going to do something, I do it right. Um, I think we're going to have to weigh in at 8 o'clock. But I am over this shit. I'm ready for it to be done. I don't think we're going to make middle, middle weight, but we at least make, made light heavyweight. Because at the beginning of this, we were heavyweight, and that's not good. So I'll see you guys at 8 o'clock. Okay guys, <clears throat> I can safely say that that hour was the longest hour of my fucking life. Thank God we're here. Let's weigh in and get a final tally of weight loss. Let's do this shit. I'm going to strip down completely. That means yes, I'm going to use the towel method. And uh, let's do this. <clears throat> Just before I do, um, I thought I'd give you a quick look at, at the physique, you know, how it's, how it's shaped up, being depleted, and also cutting my water. Uh, it, it does make a fairly you know, significant difference to the way that things look, um, to how tight things are. You know, if I put my if I put my hand above my, my head here, um, there's certain details in my chest, as you can see right there, that I didn't even have for my bodybuilding show. And you know, I'm 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 coming to terms with the fact that I'm learning things in this cut that I could have used for my bodybuilding prep, such as. Um, the fact that I didn't deplete water as hard and as, as, as much as I probably should have or could have um, to get these you know, additional details and shit that I, I didn't have on stage. Um, and also, I'm, I'm, I'm learning exactly how far I can actually push my body in certain, uh, you know, in certain times, um, especially, you know, I trained hard for three workouts. I did probably about eight hours worth of cardio over the last four days, and I've eaten zero carbohydrates. So, look, 
the time for talking's over. I thought <laughs> I thought my chest looked pretty good. I thought I'd um, give you guys a quick look and give myself a quick look. But here we go. Okay, so it's 7:53. I am looking forward to this. Moment of truth. Eighty-five point seven kilograms. We did it. This is not the final video of the series. Uh, there will be one more after I eat because I'm fucking hungry right now. And um, <laughs> I tell you what, there is. I haven't had much coffee this morning. I am a, a, a bit of a caffeine addict, and uh, there's one drink. Sitting in the fridge at home that I am freaking eyeing up right now and I cannot wait to crack that open and drink the whole fucking thing and it is and it is an ice cold white monster drink. I am so fucking thirsty right now. This hasn't been the easiest of things. 85.7 kgs, we started at 96.3. That is 10.6 kilograms, that's probably uh, that's 23 pounds. We've done 23 pounds in five days. And I could probably cut more. So with that being said guys, I'll see you outside. Second thought, okay? <laughs> I don't know why. And don't, don't ask me, don't ask me why, but I feel like this, this is actually the most accurate reading. I've jumped on the scales three or four times. And this has been what it comes up with every single time. 85.4. Let me try that again. Because I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the lowest weight. There you go. 85. 85.45. Let me do it again. Doesn't it piss you off not getting a an accurate reading on the final weigh-in. No, there we go. Okay, 85.45 kilograms. Um, <laughs> I certainly feel that depleted right now. So, all right, now I'll see you outside. 85.4 kg. 10.9 kilograms. That's probably 24 pounds. Okay, <clears throat> well this is familiar. Guys, <clears throat> my mouth feels like the Sahara Desert, or should I say the Simpson Desert, because that's where I lived for the last nine years. I'm gonna go home, it's time to rehydrate, it's time to refuel. <laughs> oh God. Okay. I had one sip this morning. Just one. <sighs> Never been so thirsty in my life. I honestly don't think I have been. Ever. We're about to fix that. <sighs> God, that's good.